Hi, it's Katie with Real Estatica and I'm your official real estate guide. And yes, I made up this title simply because it unites two things that I really love, selling real estate and exploring places. Today we are in Miami's most iconic South Beach. South of East is definitely a place of a prime real estate in Miami Beach. One of the brightest properties that are available now is a penthouse and Philip Stark designed icon on South of this. It is listed for slightly over $54 million. It's multiple story and it has gorgeous view on Fisher Island and beyond. Even though it may seem like South Beach mostly offers condors and hotels, there are actually single family homes available. We are talking in a price range of starting like lower to million to the most expensive single family home available now for 9 million that is facing Miami Beach Golf Course. The hottest and the most expensive properties of this zip code is not actually on South Beach. They are on islands, Hibiscus, Palm, San Marino Island and of course Star Island. Now you should guess who is actually behind the largest and coolest sale on Star Island. Yes, Ken Griffin has purchased a 75 million mansion back in 2021. By the way, till now the whole assets of Ken Griffin on Star Island is more than 170 million. Places to eat in South Beach. Oh my gosh where do i start if it's not the first video that you guys are watching on my channel you probably know that i love to describe the food scene because of course it's something that is part of our lifestyle this part makes us happy one of the iconic places that definitely you should visit it is of course joe's stone crab i don't know if you noticed but this place has actually opened back in 1913 i'll repeat 1913 so think how many of you actually have been to the restaurants that opened for more than a century i cannot even think about even any other one that i attended so this is place to visit for sure. If you are in the mood for sophisticated Italian, of course, Carbone is the place to go for you. There are a couple of restaurants that are actually fighting over the celebrities. It is Prime 112 and Carbone. And I think Prime 112 is winning because it has actually three restaurants in one. So it's classical Prime 112, Prime Italian and Prime Fish. Oh my God, I actually totally forgot about uh, Poppy Steak. If you're looking to convert your dining experience into the whole show, this is must-visit place. Don't look further for breakfast and cozy dining spot. Abale is probably one of the locals' favorite place to visit and offers Mediterranean cuisine. And if you would like to dine and maybe looking at your future home at Fisher Island, Myth and Valenske is a great spot for you. Things to do in Miami. Once beach is not actually in need of extra advertising, I'm gonna count some of my favorite spots to go to once I'm in Miami Beach. Convention Center is a home to the world famous Art Basel held in December. Local favorite to visit is actually erotic art museum. My personal recommendation would go to rooftop cinema. It's vibey, it's old school, it has great views. Miami City Ballet actually has their main location here. It's beautiful theater and I strictly suggest you to attend if you're into this kind of art. If you are looking for nightlife experience, uh, then probably I would recommend you the place that I cannot even call club in classical understanding do not sit on the furniture it's actually the name of it 
I suggest you to visit because this spot is going to offer you more like an intimate concept of a nightclub. They're really keeping it low key and private, but still very vibey and very Miami. Like any other place, Miami Beach has a history and there is a very remarkable story behind it. It is hard to believe, but South Beach actually started as a coconut farmland. John Collins, with his construction of Collins Bridge, connected the South Beach to the mainland. Carl Fisher entered the chart in 1913 and joined forces with Collins. By the way, it is the same year that Joe Stonecrop restaurant was opened. 1930s placed this location on the map as the largest Art Deco district. The craziest fact that city actually was trying to save on the paint and the bright colors that they were using for buildings very soon got discoloration from the sun and uh, this is how South Beach got its world famous pastel color palette. And now we are at the world famous Villa Casa Casa Arena. You're probably gonna ask what is actually is. It is actually the spot where Johnny Versace was tragically killed. If you're really interested, I suggest you to dive even deeper and watch American Crime Story because there is a whole documentary about this historical fact. However, right now it is a restaurant and I suggest you to go there. They offer brunch and dinners. The great photo spot is of course Versace pool. Fun fact that to build a pool in this mansion, Gianni Versace needed to tear down the neighbor's home. I love the place where I live for almost a decade now, and I feel that it loves me back. Thank you for being with me today. I hope you're gonna share some love in the comment and share this video with your friends and family. Stay tuned, there is more to come.